People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere or on the Internet. My soaps look at Purple Butterfly. Dash soaps dot my Shopify dot com. My blog Purple Butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com. And yesterday, this is going to be a public service announcement as well as a discussion about yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. Had a great day at church. And then there was a free concert at my church um, with the Juilliard String, String Quartet. But on the way to church, I take Beach Street, which is um, off of Spring Grove, to go over the tracks because it's less traffic than going over the tracks at the main juncture where um, Vine Street is. Yeah, the train was in full force, so I ended up going the long way and waiting and going across the tracks because it was a long train. On my way back to um, the house, same thing. The train on B Street, which is very unusual. You know, they say any time is train time. Trains don't necessarily have a schedule. But usually that track is empty. And when you do see a train, you see a train. You might not see another train for a month. Twice in one day, right? So I go on about my business. I come home. I have, um, I'd already had breakfast. I had lunch, you know, muddled around the house for a while until it was time to go to the concert. And when I got to B Street, another train. Okay, fine. So I go further down Spring Grove and I seen the train was still there. So I went all the way down to um, the overpass and went to church that way. On the way home from the concert, you know, here's a train right at um, Vine Street where it meets Spring Grove. And the train had just left. Okay, fine. I can travel now, right? So I got the blinker on the turn. And I see all these people, literally because the light changed, stop on the tracks. Don't stop on tracks. I've made a video about this before. We actually have signs in Cincinnati, Ohio at certain locations that says don't stop on tracks. Don't rest on the tracks. The railroad crossing at um, Spring Grove where it meets Vine, there's three tracks, okay? So just because the train went across one doesn't mean... Okay, I'll just go ahead and wait at the red light on the tracks because there's two more tracks. And at any given time, a train could go over any of those three tracks. Do not ever, ever, ever stop on a train track. Let's think about something. There's a red light. There's a car there. You're on the track and there's a car behind you because they're waiting on the red light. Now, here comes the cross bucks. You're stuck in between the tracks with the cross bucks coming down, and here comes the train. And, oh, well, the train just went past on track one, but what about track two or three? Don't do that, people. Nope, 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 nope. Now, let's get to the Juilliard String Quartet. First of all, we listened to a string quartet number six in F minor by Felix Mendelssohn. We heard the string quartet number six in F major um, by uh, Antonia, Antoine Dirac. But the main star of the evening was string quartet number two, Amorphous Figures. By Tyson Ghoston Davis. This kid 
is 22 years old. He graduated Juilliard three days ago. And he's already gained international fame. Awesome. Just awesome. And <laughs> I got his autograph. <laughs> and everybody else's autograph. They did a question and answer after the concert. And would you like to ask the quartet questions or the composer? Everybody asks, you know, the standard questions. How did you get interested in music? Was this composer um, a compilation of this, blah, blah, blah? How do you um, decide about the acoustics from the different places? Yada, yada, yada. All those are questions I know the answers to. So I got up there and I said, you guys are awesome. You give me chills. Can I get your autograph? Oh, right after the question and answers. We'll be happy to. Thank you. So I went and had a seat. The person I was sitting next to goes, can I get an autograph too? Can, can you take my program up there? Really? You can ask for yourself? <laughs> So I waited patiently to everybody was done with their questions. I took my program and his up there. He signed it. I used um, my G6 ink pen. I forgot it's a wet ink ink pen. So basically, there's a couple of little smears because while he was signing, he put the other one on top and signed it and then went to each individual person to um, get the autograph. So I got a couple of ink smears. And he goes, oh, perhaps we should wait till the ink drives. I said, yeah, okay. The one that had more smears, I gave that to the other person. My copy is mostly clean. And while I'm waiting to um, get uh, Tyson Davis's autograph, everybody else decided, oh, let's get autographs. So that took a long way because now they're having conversations and people are kind of rushing the stage. But it's like, yeah, I'm just going to sit right here, mainly because I couldn't walk up the steps. <laughs> I have a roll later. And the way my church is made, if you need to come on the stage, instead of the steps, there's a hallway on the side of the main sanctuary. And there's a hallway on the other side of the main sanctuary with a door that will go onto the stage. Yeah, they need to just go ahead and, you know, put like a ramp right there where the other three sets of steps are for people like me. Because they don't necessarily want to walk all the way up the way, you know, a ramp that goes towards the door, to a door, down a hallway. Yeah. The church is mostly handicap accessible, but there's those little islands of no. <laughs> you know, that's one of the islands of no. Also, because um, when you leave the church, there's a ramp to your right, and then there's steps. If you're in the parking lot where the handicap spots are, you got no problem. There's a ramp there, but if you have to walk around to get to the other side of the parking lot, there's steps going down, and that was the only place I had to park one time. So I went on the grass with the rollator, and somebody goes, why are you on the grass? I said, because I can't do the steps. It'd be nice if there was a ramp right here. Oh, we'll look into that. Well, it's been two years, I ain't looked into it yet. <laughs> and they assume that if you're having to park anywhere other than the handicapped spots, well, there's a um, golf cart that comes to pick people up, so you could just, you know, wait. Sometimes you don't want to wait, you just want to go home, especially if you got to go potty. <laughs> I have certain issues, and it doesn't necessarily accommodate waiting 15 minutes for someone to drive me to my car, and then, you know, when I could just walk for five minutes, get in my car, and drive. But anyway, yesterday was absolutely, positively amazing. Tyson Ghostin Davis, born in 
2000, he is 22 years old, a Juilliard graduate at the age of 22. It's like he's got all this wisdom of the ages in his little young brain. It was amazing. The string quartet was a conversation and an argument. So it had all these elements that don't seem to necessarily go together. And then it comes um, together at the end. I recorded it. And basically it's like, boom, boom, boom. Here's an argument, there's fussing going on, and then they make up at the end. All of it done with a violin, a cello, and two violins. It was amazing. In the meantime, my breakfast is ready, my medicine has been taken, the air conditioner desperately needs to be on, and I'm fin to go. This has been People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. I have soaps located Purple Butterfly. Dash soaps dot my shopify dot com my blog purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't rest on railroad tracks ever. Bye now.